Hello and welcome to the sixth episode of Pugsley Crew Reviews. Uh, today we have joining us Doomspoon. Hello. And uh, the film that was chosen by Doom was a film called Zombievers. It's a film yes. about zombie beavers, and it's not the beaver of a woman, it's actual beavers. <laughs> Just in although, case anyone was wondering, although that form of zombie was can, that would be that would be a film that I would like to see. <laughs> yeah, it would be pretty fucking funny. Actually. Morbid curiosity would get the better of me for that one. Yeah, agreed. I uh, couldn't disagree with you there. Um, basically, Zombievers is a film about a group of girls who are like trying to go away for a couple of days just to break free from their boyfriends and exes and what have you to have a nice time without any boys around and then boys turn up <laughs> and then yeah. uh zombievers turn up it's, it's rather funny um uh kind of silly it, it's one of those films that um it's not trying to it's it's not trying to be more than what it actually is, you know. Um, it's not trying to be a serious film. No. Um, which I, I don't want to say it's... You know, some films are intentionally bad. I don't think this is intentionally bad. I think it's just... They're all... They're just not taking themselves seriously. Yeah. It's, it's definitely an enjoyable film. Like, it, it, start, like the, it, it starts off... Like, two people in a truck. Nothing to do with the film, really. Well, nothing to do with the film in the respect of you see him speaking at the beginning. And that's mm. about it. The stuff they have in the back is what causes the zombievers. Uh, yes, like, it spills some, some into... Some the... toxic waste. Yeah. But it starts off with them just having a conversation. And, like, the guy's like, Hey, look, you can, can you see that up ahead? And he's like... Yeah, and then he just runs over a deer, and he's like, "Oh, I, I, I guess I didn't see that up ahead." And it's like, "Wow!" I, and like the deer was like in in most films when you see a deer get hit by a car, the deer is just dead. In this, the deer was all over the fucking oh, all yeah. over the truck. There, there was no deer anymore. It got deleted. <laughs> it was it was all over the place. Yeah. Um, <laughs> also. I didn't realize up, up until what, bear in mind, I've seen this film a lot. I think people know me, certain people in certain circles know me as the Zombievers guy. You know, it's the film that it seems to be synonymous with me. So I've seen this film a lot. Yeah. And it's the first time that I've watched it and I went, oh my God, like that's Bill Burr. You know, the comedian Bill Burr, American guy. Yeah. Um, very, very popular. Yeah. He's one of the guys in the truck. I was like, how have I never put two and two together before? <laughs> You know, so um, yeah, Bill, yeah, Bill Burr's in it, which I thought was quite cool. Little, uh, I don't say cameo because he's technically playing a character, but I suppose it is a cameo at the same time. Um, and for a low budget film, I thought, oh, that's 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 pretty cool. Yeah, I agree with you though. And um, well, the, the, I, I've took a couple of notes. I believe you've taken a couple of notes, and, and mm. like as soon as we start talking about the beavers. One thing I actually wrote down was the zombie, the, the zo zombies, the beavers look too real. But I think I was being sarcastic there because they look <laughs> awful. <laughs> they are, I mean, proper low I, budget. Like, I weirdly, I actually think yes. I mean, they do look terrible. They are hand puppets. That's literally what they are. They are they're beaver hand puppets. Yeah, they're or great. Zombie beaver hand puppets. Um, but you know what? It, this film would have been so much worse if they had used cheap sheet CGI instead. Yeah, the, you know it's one of those where like they are they they're crap. And and the best thing about it is when you see the there's there's a scene in the film where all the guys the 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 girls and the guys are like on this platform in the middle of like a pond or a lake, um, and they're being attacked by the zombievers, and and it cuts to them swimming in the in the sea uh, in the sea in the lake and you can clearly see it's zo it's the zombiever puppets just stretched over like a, a remote control boat and yeah like, if you look out the back of them you can see the little like 
like the um um where the water's being pushed out from like the you know from the the um the underwater like engine type thing for, of of the boat it's hilarious because there's no actual movement to them they're just floating around essentially um yes um but I think that adds to the charm because, as I said, if they had used cheap CGI to try and get the to to make these guys, I think it would have been so much worse. So I I actually appreciate the fact that they they actually use like physical puppets. Yeah, um, I do and like they a are good... literally just what's that? Sorry, I was gonna say I do like practical effects over CGI most yeah. of the time. It, yeah, especially like if if the film's going to be made worse by the CGI side of things and, and they are literally just hand pu- like hand and arm puppets um yeah um but yeah i lo- i love it i i just think i think they i i just think they're great yeah no it's definitely a lot of fun to, and it's just pure silliness like but uh you know the, the girls then you, it cuts to the girls at the beginning of the film and they're having a conversation in the car and all I can remember, and even my notes, is like, there's a lot of talk of shitting. I can't remember exactly what was being said, but they seem to be <laughs> talking about shitting a lot. Yeah. yeah and then, they, and, and then, then they decide to show some guy's dick on the phone. And I'm like, well, yeah. I don't want to see someone's dick. Where's, where's the beavers? Oh, yes. <laughs> I, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. Um, I, the, the note I made about that was the, the acting in when they're in the car having that conversation is very suspect at best yeah um, it's it, it's very, <laughs> it's very awkward like in that oh this is not this is this isn't good but i i, I have to be fair it gets better as it gets on like you know but yeah yeah it is weird um and it's that typical you know college like you know a gr- group of college girls yeah um it's that very stereotypical not wearing huge amount um um talking about guys and all the shit they want to do to them or 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 in one in one of their cases not want to do yeah um and uh because it, their their boyfriend cheated on them and things um yeah, so in that sense, it's, it's quite stereotypical. But but yeah, that that scene in the car is is suspect at best. Yeah, and and also the music in the car was awful too. Oh God, that's not even music. It's oh, and and mm. and the fact that she's trying to act like she likes it, and it's just it just does it just doesn't <laughs> work. Like, and but that to me, see, I'm one of these people. I am very resilient to like bad films like very resilient like if i can find enter like my thing is even if the film is shit like as long as i walk away and go did was that entertaining did that entertain me then i go well there we go it done its job i'm absolutely fine with that yes the film shit but i'm entertained and like that film this film a little bit like there are parts in it where it's like oh that's really like (laughs) it's really suspect but I'm still entertained by it because it's it's almost so bad it's funny it, yeah. in times you know yeah no I and, agree and with that man the the puppets aren't ever trying to look realistic so that's different but like when they're trying to act like they like some music and the music is horrible and they clearly can't even act like they like it 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 is funny look those little bits just yeah they 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 scratch an itch that I didn't realize I have sometimes. What, what, one of the things they could have done there, right, it, per, thinking about it, is, is I, I, I'm pretty sure when the music was playing, they weren't speaking. So what they could have done yeah. is play some music they actually liked, right? Yeah. And then yeah. in the edit, put different music in there if they couldn't get like the <laughs> license for something. <laughs> yeah. Unless, yeah, yeah, exactly. Unless someone was like, yeah, let's check this track out because it's so shit. It's funny. Oh, God. Yeah. It, yeah no but luckily i i find after that scene it does get a bit better um including when um skipping forward to as we say eventually the guys end up turning up to this room you know so they go to this remote shack essentially that's in the middle of nowhere and the guys end up turning up because one of the girls like pre-arranged for them to be there um and the the one guy in particular which is the the ex of one because he cheated i think his name's sam 
Oh my god! Like he he's one of the most annoying characters I think I've ever come across in a, in anything. Like he's so annoying, and it's just just an ass. Mm. Um, literally in my notes, I just said Sam is a piece of shit, and like <laughs> because it, oh, it's so annoying. Um, but yeah, like oh, I don't know, I don't know. The 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 acting does get better after that car scene. Yeah, no, I agree with you, and. Um... <clears throat> I agree. I, I think I wrote down somewhere that the 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 boyfriend ex boyfriend guy is a complete mm. fucking tool. Yeah, I'm, I'm far from the fact that he sacrifices the dog. So when they're on that, plane, <laughs> he just, uh, just like, talking. he just he just, like there's no. It's not even like he flinches. I mean, you almost got. You know what? You almost got to give him credit for that. Yeah. Like he doesn't even consider. Like he doesn't even run through his mind that that this is a bad thing to do he just grabs the dog and just launches it into the lake with these zombievers um and yeah just <laughs> although i we uh, he does get his cup up come up and later in the film in quite a spectacular way so yeah i, I but, can kind of knowing that i can i i i, I can kind of watch it and enjoy it yeah. because i know what's going to happen to him yeah, but the thing with our characters is like he turns up, he's like, "Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, what I did," and then the entire fucking film, he's just a complete dick to oh, everyone. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you know, it could at least make him like likable, so he's trying to redeem himself, but, <laughs> but he's not, and then he carries no. it, and then and then he's still trying to get off with the person he cheated on her with, like, yeah. so yeah, he's, he he should have, you know, uh, he's a dick. Yeah, did did you find as well? with this film is it starts off quite um very i suppose paint by numbers in the sense of you know it's that typical group of college girls are trying to get away for the weekend um little did they know that their boyfriends have been invited and you know that it's it's very paint by numbers for the beginning you know in yeah. terms of we've seen this kind of play out a million times and you know one of them's not happy with one because they cheated but then they're trying to get back in their good books yada yada, yada. so like that you know uh, it fine it's all good but then when the when this film turns and and it and it's like it switches like zombiever mode on it's balls to the wall for basically the rest of the film yeah and, and and it really just it just ramps it up something chronic it does and, and Someone, I, love it. I can't remember who it was i, I say no oh, yeah i'm gonna watch zombievers and they were saying oh yeah they love the film it's kind of like uh evil dead but like worse much worse acting and all that sort of stuff and i can kind of see that it kind of is like yeah. e evil dead like the first evil dead from the 80s or 70s yeah. 80s 80s early 80s it isn't it evil dead yeah, the first yeah. one with bruce campbell yeah yeah um, and uh, yeah. yeah, I would agree with that. It does kind of have that kind of sensibilities, but it's obviously just not as not as good as that, honestly. But no, it's, I mean it's quite different. I think as well. the budget, yeah, and the budget was probably significantly lower considering as well. Um, I don't know <laughs> the original Evil well, Dead budget was about a Evil Dead. pound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, get a lock back then for a pound. <laughs> God. Um, uh, but um, yeah. So just after the car ride, he sees like a guy and his kid, I believe, uh, fishing or something. And, and like, the only note I've got written there is, is the, the guy wearing the number one dad hat. He looks about 12. So like, yeah, w was he Doesn't like old enough for that to be his kid? No, he, he looks like his old, slightly older brother. That, mm. that That's mm. just daft. Yeah. Yeah. And what I, oh, what I loved actually is, is where the girls turn up to the cabin and then the um the old, old woman, woman the older woman turns uh, up yeah. and she's like oh yeah my my daughter's not very attractive but she's fucking people left right and they, you know you know i'm yeah, old-minded i don't care <laughs> no yeah. man woman whatever i don't give a shit why you're shagging i don't understand how she shagging people because she's so ugly kind of thing and it's like what <laughs> <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> that's brilliant yeah <laughs> Yeah, yeah, which um, she just, like, turns, like, from this, like, oh, this older woman who's a bit more respectable to, it's okay, my daughter's a fucking bitch type thing. And it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, the, uh, the, you you don't see a lot of her. Um, Unfortunately. But the, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
But um, yeah, no. I, I just thought it was a really funny scene. You wouldn't expect. I was like, yeah, yeah, I don't like my daughter. Yeah, it does turn on its head, which I suppose it's something that you don't normally expect. So, which which is always good. Um, yeah. Then you've got. Uh, I think late, like not long after that, they go on the lake. One of the girls is uh, topless with her tits yeah. out. And then yeah. a bear shows up and she covers her tits up and I la- laugh my tits off. Because yeah, it's like, yeah. why would you cover your tits up from a bear? Yeah. <laughs> the bear's not going to be going, yeah. hey, boobies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a bear. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and, then, and then some like hunter guy turns up uh, and kind of shoes the bear off and yeah um tells them all to put on more clothes yeah proper grump kind of that grumpy old man yeah you know this is, this this is, is a respectable f- area yeah respectable family area with kids yeah put your tits away yeah. uh, and he says that to all of them even the ones wearing like bikinis like put more yeah. on yeah so. yeah um there and then go. after that the, the that's when the guys turn up that so then it kind of cuts to the evening from there and uh um yeah, they show up scaring the girls by knocking on the yeah. door and hiding and shit. And, and then, again, it's very paint by numbers. Like, up to this point, everything's very paint by numbers. Yeah, I agree. And uh, one of the quotes I've got written down, or is one of my in my favourite quotes, is, my dick's asleep, it needs to be woken up. And I just thought, nah, it doesn't really work. Because you, 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 you... No. I don't like that. Uh, it... Actually, on that on that note, um, obviously the guys turn up, and then basically you've got this awkward moment where the two girls and their two boyfriends. You cut to it where they're both like shagging in their rooms, and they're not being quiet about it. And then you're just looking at the other girl and her ex boyfriend who cheat who cheated on her, um, just kind of sat there enduring like this noise and that. But then it cuts to. It cuts to the one couple, and and it's my favorite quote of all, like one of my favorite quotes of all time. Like me and my friend who watched this for the very first time years and years ago. Um, uh, every so often, we'll just like send this quote to each other because it's just one of those that just you chuckle every time. So like he's like this guy's like full on like doggy position with with this girl, and like, they're proper going for it, and he just blurts out, "I feel like a Power Ranger," and yeah. I, I just I lost it. I. I I love, I just, the first time I listened to that, <laughs> because bearing in mind I've watched this, and but every time I watch it, it makes me laugh every time. But he's there just proper like ragging this girl and then just out of nowhere, he just screams out, I feel like a Power Ranger. And yeah. You know what? There's a certain amount of me that kind of totally understands what he's on about and that's what makes it so funny. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like as a guy, like as a guy, when you're having sex, there is that you know. It's it, he's vocalizing the thing that you probably don't realize that actually you're 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 subconsciously thinking a little bit. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> um, oh, it's honestly it's my favorite quotes from any film. And like I said, I just send it to to my friend who, as I say, we watched this for the first time, like literally, probably not long after it came out. Um, yeah, and yeah, it's just it's become a bit of an inside joke now. But yeah, that's that's probably my favorite quote from the um from the film yeah uh that's actually probably mine as well i, I did actually have that written down as well fuck brilliant made me laugh my fucking tits off so i yeah. probably got a few uh more on that maybe i don't know i can't remember i, don't, I actually found my old notes so i didn't actually end up rewatching it <laughs> uh, <that's okay. laughs> i'm not complaining <laughs> but then again it would have been easier to watch in some ways <laughs> and then uh, then so I pretty think much from that point onwards, the zombies, all the tits beavers, yeah. yeah, the zombies start yeah. turning up. They start off with one, and then they like yeah. kill it, chuck her in the bin, and like ah, it's fine, it's dead. It's probably got rabies or something. Yeah. And then the next morning or a few hours later, I can't remember which exactly, it's, it's gone. gone. And yeah. then it's attacking them again, and they kind of nail it to a fucking the kitchen unit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just going. Ah! on the unit like <laughs> and again because they're hand puppets it's 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 so like they uh, clearly the camera's angled in such a way that you can't like but you could clearly see they're having to strategically place the camera so you can't see the person's arm controlling it yeah um but um but yeah and then that's where i say basically all of a sudden all hell breaks loose and um 
yeah, you know, um, this is where the, the, the film kind of goes a little bit, kind of a little bit batshit crazy, I suppose, you know, um, because yeah, from that point on was they're just getting more, and, essentially they're just getting more and more attacked by these zombievers. Um, and typically with zombies, as we know, if you get bitten by one, you end up becoming a zombie yourself. That That's the very traditional way of doing things. And that is also in this film. You get bitten, you turn into something. However, and this is what I really appreciate, is you don't turn into a zombie. You turn into a zombie yourself. Yeah. And and that that I remember again the big reveal of that was like just again just so hilarious. It was you know, um, it was surprising because the first person it happens to is what I thought was going to be the main character who survives. Yeah, yeah. I genuinely thought that that character was going to be the one who survives, and the yeah. character that survives to the end is the the really sexed up one. Who, yeah, yeah. Who who seemed well, like a bit of a who, ma- who seemed like most of the time a, a massive bitch as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, very kind of outspoken and yeah, you're like almost convinced she's going to be the one that that isn't going to make it. But yeah, ironically, d- well, kind of does. Kind <laughs> she makes it to does. the end of the film, but th- not for long. <laughs> no, yeah, I was going to say the after the credits roll, you find out what happens to her essentially. So, um, so yeah, she. she but but technically she survives um she survives until that, the credits yeah pretty much um but the thing the thing i find funny is so obviously that old woman that we we talked about earlier she's got a husband and they live in like the the shack i say a shack it's it's kind of like a wooden it's more of a wooden house than a shack but they live in the one that's like literally like just just like a hundred a couple hundred meters away and they're the only two by this lake yeah um and there's this scene which I, I find hilarious when they cut to obviously it's all hell's breaking loose in the one and they cut to the to the old couple and the guy's there reading his paper and like the the camera's like zoomed out and you can and they have a dog it's a uh, golden retriever and yeah. he's he sat there and the dog is next to him and I don't know if you noticed but it's very very clear that that is a it's it's a it's like a stuffed it's it's almost like a stuffed toy because it doesn't move it doesn't blink it's not it literally like doesn't even twitch a muscle yeah it's, it's hilarious it's it's completely fake and then um and then late and then literally like it cuts to the a scene where the guy puts his hand down and strokes the dog and all of a sudden it's a real dog so you're like ah you know um but then the thing i find absolutely hilarious is he's having this conversation he strokes the dog and you see him stroke the dog and you're like fine and then he moves his hand away and then the old woman goes upstairs and then he mum- mumbles something to himself this is all within the same scene he then puts his hand back down to stroke the dog and there's a fucking zombie there yeah <laughs> and it's like i, I got written I down got so many questions I got written down a quote from that one of that yeah. uh, that scene like i don't remember it exactly but i'm sure she's like a uh, they talk about the noise and stuff going on over there. And I'm sure the woman says to the guy, because I'm, I'm sure they're like, oh, maybe one of us should go check on him or something. Yeah. And uh, I, I can't remember exactly, but then she says to him, oh, don't worry about it. It's just ladies over there scissoring to Lady Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like, like old people trying to do young people speak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, yeah. And it, the the questions that that scene brings up because like i said all that happens within that one scene big and dog like, real dog how, beaver yeah 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 and you're like how, big beaver how yeah how did they how did this zombie beaver we assume has killed the dog because you don't see it from that point onwards so how does the zombie beaver kill the dog without them noticing drag the body away and then sit there in place all within the same scene while they're literally next to this dog and he's just stroked the thing <laughs> like he puts his hand back down <laughs> and it's just a beaver there and you're like yeah how <laughs> like yeah it doesn't um, make sense i was no. i was i've got i've got written down here right that like a lot of the jokes are quite bad but at the same time oh, yeah. they are really funny at the same time like one yeah. of them he's like yeah i i would go down on you more to his girlfriend i'd go down on you more but it just smells so bad down there yeah, yeah. <laughs> i think that's the guy so what one of the guys loses his foot like yeah 
not long after the beavers attack and and that's the guy he's a bit delirious by that point um which actually brings me to another part they decide to take so uh, a couple of them to take uh take the car and try and take the guy to the hospital um but what do you know halfway down the road there's a they've they've essentially dammed the road which which is hilarious the idea of beavers kind of becoming almost sentient and planning but the one of the best thing about it is the one of the guys gets out and like goes to walk back and all of a sudden he hears ah and then you hear a tree crash and and a tree has landed on this guy and then it just cuts to these like two beavers over a beaver uh, over a, over a tree stump like obviously these two puppets like looking at each other and like they're clearly looking like they're looking at each other and like laughing and you're like this is this is fucking mad like <laughs> they've managed to like like they they've managed to set like a a booby trap by munching through a tree quick enough in the exact time they knew where this guy was going to be like for the tree to just and just land on him <laughs> and and it's the fact that it turns to the beavers who are uh, opposite ends of the stump and they're just proper like looking at each other and like chuckling away and you're like this is this is this is crazy this is mad it is um yeah yeah no, I, it just, I, it's just unhinged by that point it is it's a, a good laugh and and when they barricaded in the house and um and they tried to stab at the beavers through the window oh, and gosh. i was like they were like gently slightly tapping them with it the, yeah as if like not you know not to hurt the zombie beavers just gently poking them and it's like that ain't gonna kill anything no <laughs> i was confused yeah. by the uh, amount of zombie beavers there were because at one point they open a door and there's like fucking hundreds of pairs of eyes yeah. and i'm pretty sure we're in a, in a, 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 a beaver troop <laughs> i don't know what yeah. it's called in a group of beavers there's not like hundreds of them normally so i was like where the not fuck normally. did all these beavers come from <laughs> unless everything they were biting would turn into beavers but then everything while they turn into beavers they still keep their normalish self yeah. so like the human zombie beavers are human it's zombie beavers human. i think there's a the bear becomes a zombie beaver, but it's it's that, a bear sized zombie beaver like yeah that that was funny because they were like I think they just crashed the car and they were trying to get it moving again. And they, all they hear is this like bear and they turn and, um, and they're like, Oh shit. And like the bear is like, yeah, it's basically a bear with a giant beaver tail and like giant front teeth. And you're like, Oh my God, it's turned into a zombie beaver bear. Um, and yeah, and the people turn into zombie beaver people basically. So like they grow a tail, they have these like claws, they get the big, uh, the big teeth on the front um yeah. and yeah it's it's wild it's wild and yeah like i i don't feel like we're doing it justice it's one of those films that you do have to watch it's an experience and it's definitely worth watching yeah um i was sorry i was just looking at something there and i was like what's that about because it looks like at some point in the film they throw away the foot and shout something like do you want some chicken Oh yeah, no. So they they're trying to um, the the girl is trying to pack the foot because they still have the put the the foot where um, it was it was bitten off oh, and he's yeah. trying to pack it. Yeah. And the hunter who has found them again, he stood next to her while he's watching her pack the foot with ice, and he's just eating this chicken leg. Yeah. He keeps off. He <laughs> offers her chicken about six times. He's like, What's "You sure chicken? you don't want some chicken?" So there's loads in the fridge, and it's it's just it's hilarious yeah that's uh, what it was it's like offering a chicken like cooked chicken to eat which is yeah. daft uh, it, yeah so anyway there was at one point they were doing this whack-a-mole kind of thing but with zombievers yeah <laughs> ironically i've got that in my notes as well beaver whack-a-mole but yeah whack whack a whack a beaver i suppose um <laughs> wait hey. they, wait hey. um, what do you they use to whack the... a beaver well <laughs> <laughs> Because apparently they find out the beavers are very good tunnelers, so all of a sudden they're coming up through the through the wooden floorboards. So there, they end up yeah. playing whack a whack a beaver. Um, uh, they, uh, there's a point where they realise that everything they're doing is is pointless because they're they're boarding up the 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 doors and the windows with whatever they can find. And bear in mind, it's a wooden it's a wooden hut shack thing, and everything they've got is wood. And then they suddenly come to the realisation that it's like, what are they doing? Like, what do beavers eat? Wood. <laughs> what we're we doing <laughs> Build, building the defenses out of wood 
<laughs> exactly. Like, oh. It doesn't doesn't it doesn't work, but no. it does work. It works. It works in the film, like in in the in the sense of the people are being fucking stupid and using what yes. they can. But it doesn't work because beavers chew through wood to make dams and what have you. So exactly. Um, but thankfully, from that point onwards, it does lead on to a very satisfying part of the film, where. Um, Sam, the the kind of annoying ex who did the cheating, as we've yeah. said, he's a very very annoying character throughout the whole thing. Very unlikable, um, isn't he? Maybe that's oh, why he oh, dies the way he does. Unlikable. Maybe they did it. You know, have a dickhead character and then have him die in a really cruel way, and then I mean, everyone gets I, satisfied. I I would like to think that's why they've done it. Um, because yeah, like he's he's very unlikable and very like he's the kind of person you just want to slap because he's arrogant, but not he not even in an obvious way, which which in some way is worse. Um, but he gets his dick bitten off, so you know that's uh, all all all's well that ends well at the end of the yeah. day. I still yeah. uh, the the issue I have with that is is like I um is like. They're in the middle of beating off zombies, zombievers, not beating yep. off, trying to get rid of zombievers. Beating them off is not the right phrasing. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when it gets it bitten off, can't beat off anything. I know, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, and then like him and the girl he cheated with he, mm. are starting to get jiggy with it. And yes. it's kind like the of, only two left in the hut, essentially. Yeah, it is, yeah, but it just doesn't make sense to me. I like. They should be trying to escape. Yeah. Not but instead, trying to, like, just born whilst they're going to die <laughs> if they just stay there and born. Yeah. I mean, I, I suppose the reason why they end up getting naked in the first place is because they're checking each other for bite marks because they've realised by now that, like, if you get bitten, you turn into a human zombie uh, Or in, in some cases, as we said earlier, a zombie bear. Um, and... And yeah, and then from that point onwards, they end up again instead of putting their clothes back on and you know getting out of there and figuring out a way out, they decide to start having sex. But luckily, it doesn't get too far before, um, as we say, the the guy's uh, ex who he cheated on, she ends up becoming a human zombie, um, and um, they kind of fight her off when that first happens, and she disappears for a bit, and then all off. of a sudden she. Yeah, they they beat her off, <laughs> and uh, she. I think she uh, bursts through the floor then, and um, uh, of the room that they're in. Bearing in mind they're just in the middle of just about to start having sex, and um, she bites his dick off. So, um, yeah. I mean, again, all's all's well the ends well, I suppose. Um, and but but with that, that makes it very very satisfying. It does. If you ever watch the film a second time, um, you can almost enjoy his character a bit more because you're like, I know you're going to get your dick bitten off, and as a result of that, like you carry on, <laughs> you carry on. <laughs> you're about to get a horrible way to die. You I, and it's fine. The like, actual I will, note I will I, endure it. The actual note I wrote on is like, why would they randomly start banging in the bathroom? I guess it was daft, as the guy just got his dick bitten off by his ex. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, it's just, yeah. You know, if he kept it in his pants, we wouldn't have this problem. But yeah. um, hey, hope bad decisions and all. If he kept um, it in his pants in the first place, then uh, um, none yeah. of them would be there. Actually, that's a very good point. So it's all his fault, basically. Yeah, his, him his fault. and the and who the ex, uh, the the girl who, as we say, is is his ex. Um, it's her best friend he cheats on with. So, like, if it wasn't for those two, this literally wouldn't have happened. Yeah, and well, well, it may have happened it, just not to them. <laughs> yeah, it, it would have happened to just the old couple and the dog. <laughs> that was yeah. it. Um, and the bear, yeah. <laughs> and the hunter. And the hunter, yeah. Yeah. Um, and we don't about the old couple's dog, not the dog that twat face threw in the water. No, no. Unfortunately, that dog gets dr gets drowned, I guess, um, because you see that little dog as it's swimming away. The uh, zombie for boats uh, end up kind of surrounding <laughs> it, and then all of a sudden the dog just like disappears under the water. So... <laughs> I would have um, liked that to have come back as a zombie. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. Yeah, and, and kill and kill the owner. That would have been cool. <laughs> yeah, and 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 the fact that um, and I'd still want him to have his little life jacket on. Yeah, because <laughs> he's got a little doggy life jacket. I'd still want him to have that on as well. Yeah. Um, 
but yes that was that was very cool and then we kind of get towards the end of the film where where the final cup the final two people are, are escaping and um as they're driving away a tree falls behind them and essentially what you what the camera pans and you realize that there's the the zombies have attempted to spring the tactical tree felling trap again yep. the one earlier where they managed to somehow perfectly time felling a tree to land on one of the guys from earlier on that we talked about uh they attempt it a second time uh to try and stop the car this time it doesn't work and yes i've in my notes i referred to it as a tactical tree felling um but this one doesn't work and the the funny bit is the camera spins and it's a zombiever and the old guy from the cup from the old couple um who's obviously a human zombiever they are the ones who have like cut this tree or chewed this tree down um and it's the fact that there's a moment where they kind of look at each other and look at the mess they've made and they look back at each other and it's like there's like a certain level of like they almost realize that they screwed up do you know what i mean yeah um, no, okay. I, I definitely yeah yeah um um Obviously, yeah. the the this is like the big spoilers. At the end, two of them have escaped, and like one of them is going to shoot the other one because she's cut. Yes, and she's like, "Oh no, I'm not. I haven't been bitten. I fell out of a window, and these that's what these yes, cuts she are from." Out of a window, and then yeah. the other one who's going to shoot her, it turns out to have been bitten. I don't know when, but she's no. Been, they don't. They don't make that out. She turns into a zombie a person. Human yep. zombie, and then the other one who the slutty one. I call her the slutty one. She's not really slutty, but no. she's like you know, she's Very just really sexy. horny. Yeah. <laughs> the really horny she, one. She, she's the one whose boyfriend, while they were banging, said, "I feel like a power ranger." Yeah, that's that's, that's probably one of the best lines I've heard in a film, especially during yep. the sex scene. I feel yes. like a power <laughs> ranger. <laughs> And and all as guys, as I said, we kind of know what he's on about. There's a weird like, <laughs> yeah, like I I wouldn't word it like that, but yeah, like I get it, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know, uh, um, so, uh, so uh, out she, of them all, I wasn't thinking she was going to be the survivor. No, I wasn't. But like, once you. <laughs> get to the for, I think it's she escapes past the tree and there's no zombie was about yeah and then the credits roll and then yeah or the, the first the, half of the credits roll. yeah and then after that then it shows her again <laughs> it shows the two people in the car from the beginning they're having a conversation yep. and they go hey can you see that in front of you and he's like yeah just carries on driving and then runs her fucking over <laughs> like the DH so, I guess I didn't see that yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> So she like ends one, up dead as well. Circle. Yeah. And it's pretty good. Um, but there's another cr end credit scene. There is. Where a bee, mm -hmm. uh, a bunch of bees uh, go on uh, the zombie. So, like, I, did, I didn't oh, look it up, but. It wasn't the zombie. It was the zombie bear. The zombie bear, up, was it? Yeah. yeah. Because a bear bears eat honey and, yeah. Yeah, it makes yeah. sense. But uh, I, I I never looked it up. But is there a Zombies sequel? There's not, and oh. I pray that it gets made because yeah, essentially the idea is is that, like you said, a bee goes back to its colony, its hive, while covered in the zombie blood, the 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 tainted blood. Um, so are we gonna have zombie bees or zo or just zombies? Um, I don't know, but um, but yes, there's certainly a very strong suggestion that we're about that. I say about this. The film came out a few years ago, uh, yeah, that, like um, 2014 an, or something, wasn't it? Like nearly 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah, um, but there certainly was a suggestion that zombies might be a thing, and and as soon as I saw that, I immediately started googling. Please let it be a thing. Um, as far as we're aware, nothing's upset about it which is uh, a shame because i would i would pay good money to watch that oh and do you know when i said there was shit music in the car yes they made up for it with the end credit music because oh, that was awesome yes they did <laughs> yes they did it is the best and it's the best like me it's uh like a a outro uh credits music ever <laughs> it's, um, just, it's essentially a crooner um singing um like that proper like frank sinatra style singing um 
uh but literally it's like to the tune of zombievers and like essentially the lyrics of the song while he's singing it in this very suave way is all the stuff that's happened to everyone yeah and at some point he does mention that one of the guys gets his dick bitten off and everything but it's so suave because it's like that kind of like as i said it's that um um that style of singing uh yeah that frank sinatra style oh it's amazing it's honestly one of the best like it's probably where most of the money of that film was spent. <laughs> um, yeah. But it, it, I would it, agree was, with that. it was so good. It was so good. Yeah. Um, I, I genuinely enjoyed the film. Uh, so was, um, it, was, it, was this your first time watching it? Yeah. Yeah. And I, I hadn't heard about the film until you mentioned it. When we were doing a few years back, me and a couple of other people doing Pugsley Crew Views, we would watch a film, talk about it. And then we would talk about it as we watch it. So then mm. people could listen to it whilst watching the film themselves. So they have our, like, commentary yeah. to a film that we were not involved in at all. So they'd have to buy their own version of the film and stuff. Because obviously it wasn't, like, proper commentary that you would get. Because we yeah. just a bunch of dicks. And it's something you mentioned. So this was, you're looking, like, four years ago or more, like, <laughs> that you mentioned <laughs> it. And then when I decided, ah, oh, Joe, I'll start doing a film podcast as well as a game podcast, because it'd be fun mm. to, to do. First thing I thought is, is like, oh, yeah, let's see if, let's see if uh, Doom wants to do it. And I messaged you. And I was like, oh, what film do you want to pick? And he's like, and you says, like, people was like, yeah, I was hoping you'd pick that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm that predictable. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not predictable. It was just, you know, oh, it, I really enjoyed the film. Like, it, it's, mm. it's low budget. The acting and stuff isn't great, but it comes together, like, really nicely. And it's, it's genuinely it, funny. Yeah, I think the, it's, it's more than the sum of its parts, if you Definitely, know what I mean. Yeah. Like, and and um, it's not trying to take itself seriously. It is meant to be like a. Um, it's, it's technically a horror film, technically, but it's it's a it's a horror that does not take itself seriously at all, and it's it's genuinely it's just a good time, you know. Yeah. Um, I I, I say I am a big fan of like bad like intentionally bad films as well as like bad films is something like a morbid curiosity gets the better of me and and i need to watch bad films but this this is it's kind of so bad it's good um and i feel like that was the point of this and um yeah it's it's honestly whenever people say oh what, what are some of your favorite films this is genuinely one of them because i can watch it and it's it's just a good time you know yeah um there's certain films that i would always say are some of my favorite films of all time but like like the lord of the rings trilogy and stuff like that but you can't just sit down and casually watch those films they're too much like where this film it's only it's really short as well it's like 70 um it's like an hour and 10 minutes it's like 74 minutes or something like that hour and yeah. 15 i'm not sure um, so it's I was yeah, too busy enjoying the film to pay attention to the the time. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's it's not a particularly long film, and as a result, you can kind of enjoy it and and kind of not. It's not. Yeah. It's, it's not. It's not weighty, you know. So um, you can just kind of enjoy it. You know, it's, it's like a light snack of a film. Yeah, I agree. I, yeah. I, I like I said, I really enjoyed it. I'm glad you picked it. Uh, I, I did. I did have a good laugh, and, and that's the main thing. It, it was entertaining and. Yeah. I came away with a smile on my face. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I watched it with the missus. Um, like oh, usually when, when, I, when I put these uh, films on, I make the missus watch them and, and ask her opinion on it. And, uh, but I haven't uh, asked her this time. But I, I don't think she enjoyed it because she's a miserable cow. <laughs> <laughs> and you love. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I thought was, every single film I've put on for this podcast that she has watched, which has been most of them, not Transformers, she has said, What shit are you making me watch now? And then that was shit. And it's like, they're not shit. They're entertaining. <laughs> That's it, exactly. Like, even if a film is bad, I can still get entertainment out of it. Like for a film to for me to not like a film or like to for for me to genuinely call a film bad it has to one not to be a very good film 
and in my opinion, not very good anyway, and two, doesn't entertain me at all. And that doesn't happen very often, but when it does, like, I really, like, it really bothers me, like, yeah. really bugs me. Uh, and literally, there's only a few films have ever done that as well. Um, so, um, yeah, it's, um, I, I'm very, I'm very forgiving with films. Yes, yeah, nothing wrong with that. Nothing no, wrong with that at all, man. And I think that is going to be us wrapping up here. Uh, is there anything else you would like to add about the film before we do? Um, no, I don't think so. Uh, apart from the fact that I actually own the film on Blu-ray as well. <laughs> um, <laughs> ironically, I, I currently don't have a Blu-ray player. So um, I, used to, I used to have a, a Series X, so I'd be able to add a Series X, um, an Xbox One X, so I could use that. Um, but uh, I don't have that anymore, and I don't have a Series X. I have a Series S, so um, uh, I have no way of playing it. Hence, why I needed the go the, Series um, X the link to it. Yeah, go yeah. Series X, man. <laughs> Trade in um, the Series S and go Series X, and then you can watch yeah. some beavers in this 4K, in 4K. glory. Yeah. Yep, and I, I believe <laughs> that that version has. Um, I've got like I'm sure I've got director's commentary on it. I'm sure I do. Oh, um, nice. So uh, yeah. Uh, it's got a load of features, so I, I do need to kind of explore those a little bit. But uh, yeah, but no, it's all good. But no, that's that's about it, really. Uh, anything you would like to plug, like um, Metalladads and or anything else? Um, yeah, um, I think I've I've done the last few times that I've appeared on one of your podcasts. But yes, so I am a uh, co-founder and member of a group called Metalladads. We are a um men's or very specifically um a father's mental health support group um or mental uh, support kind of mental health support community i suppose uh we have um we have a private facebook group which uh you by all means you can join there's a few questions to to answer but um it's you know they're pretty basic things but um um which is completely confidential you can kind of share as much um or as little as you like there um and we also have uh a, a split like a facebook page pub like a public page we've got a website which is metallidads.org um search for metally dads on facebook and the page and the group will come up uh we're on youtube as well we do little bits there um and yeah you know we basically offer a we're a community support group uh for dads um it, uh, to to assist in um uh the general struggles of parenting yeah kind of a lot of us look well we're all learning on the job aren't we yeah. um uh, but we're all at you know there's over 400 members in the group now and and we're all at varying um varying parts of of our journey so some of the guys we've got um our, our grandparents or great grandparents um oh, yeah. uh and we we go down to you know guys who have literally just had their first child and they've just been born you know so um lots of varying abilities and, and we do talk about all sorts of crap as well there's lots of talk about games um movies D &D. music D, D. we have a D, &D group um, warhammer? um well, there's a warhammer group that we got a little like hobby groups going um yeah we we kind of have got all sorts of things going on within the group um and our we're called Matai dads because it's it's a and, and any anyone who who is a dad in some form it doesn't have to be biological it could be step kids uh adopted um grandkids it, it kind of any as if you've got a if you're if you identify as a male and you t you are you take on a parental role in any form then you're welcome essentially um uh but our our shared kind of um uh interest is kind of rock and heavy metal music and that's simply because uh when when myself and a, a friend of mine started the group we realize that you can't stick a bunch of guys in a room or on a chat or a group and basically say, go and talk about your feelings and your kids. Cause it doesn't work. You've got to have something in common. And both me and him are into kind of rock and heavy metal and that. So we said, why don't we start a group based on that? That it's, it's the link that kind of encourages conversation. Um, and that's what happens a lot of the time. We get people join, they, maybe will comment on a couple of people's kind of posts about music or they share their own and and a conversation starts and then they start to notice that we've got different hobby groups uh like our D, D and our warhammer groups and things like that which have spread out um we've got like a group of gamers and stuff like that there as well and then all of a sudden they start getting involved in 
uh, the community side of things and the and the groups and that. And then before you know it, those guys are then asking for advice or asking questions about either, you know, or, or just generally using the space as, as a place to kind of vent um, if they're struggling with their mental health or, or, or something to do with parenting. And, and it's nice to see, you know, uh, we do in-person events as well, which are always advertised. Um, we are based in Barrie in South Wales specifically, um, but our community, um, our our community group on um, on Facebook covers the whole world. Essentially, we've got people from all over the place on there. Um, but we also do have a coffee morning, which we which we host here in Barry uh, at a place called Awesome Wales um, every Saturday morning, um, which, again, you know, anyone's free to come along and have a chat with us. And um, yeah, so um, that's my long winded plug uh, done with that. Just search Metalli Dads <laughs> on basically anything, and we 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 come up basically. Yep, I I take part in D and D. You do? Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm a cleric. <laughs> <laughs> you cleric? I'm a bard. We've got uh, we've we've got all sorts, but we've also developed a habit of punching stuff in the dicks. Yes. So. Yes. Yeah, and it seems effective so far. It seems to do, it seems to work. So yeah, you know. yeah, it didn't work on the dragon. No, didn't annoyingly, get to, didn't get to punch the dragon in the dick. No. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that is going to be us then. So thank you for all for listening. I'll be back uh, next week with uh, a game on Peds's Game Shack, uh, but for another film podcast, it'll be a fortnight. Thank you, everyone, and see you soon. Bye. Bye. -bye. I think we've covered most of the film there. Oh, no! Um, I, the, I pressed a, to unpause it, and it didn't unpause, and all I was paused. <laughs> oh, you're kidding. I'm not. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> Back to whack-a-mole. Back to whack-a-mole. God damn it. I don't need a food yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucking annoying. I noticed the yellow flashing of the, the pause button, but it wasn't oh. highlighted. Like it yeah. normally is, so I was like, oh, yeah, I'm recording, but no. <laughs> <sighs>